heading north. Here's what you gotta northeast. understand. Remember, it's not just pitch e pitch controls, airspeed, power controls, altitude. It's always a balance between the two, right? So when we're trying to hold an altitude, I could say you need to add power to speed up, right? That makes sense. But is it that simple? No. no. Because look it, if I want to speed up, and I say add power to speed up, watch what happens when I add power. Do I speed up? No, no, your nose up. No, I go up, right? Yeah. Because we know that we use power to control our altitude, right? So what's going to keep us from going up and make us go faster? Pitch pitching, down. right? Yeah, yeah. So now we are doing pitching for airspeed. Yeah. But it's a combo of the two. We have to add more power, which one will then allow us to push forward more, which then will give us the airspeed we want. It's never one thing. It's always a balance between the two. So I can slow down to 80, and I'm slowing down not by pulling power out. I'm slowing down by pulling back on this to maintain altitude. If I add power in, I'm not going to speed up because I'm adding power in. I'm speeding up because I'm letting, I'm pitching down, which is counteracting the power, right? And I'm holding altitude. I'm pitching down, but I'm adding the power to get the air speed up. Okay? But it's not the power that's speeding me up alone. It's the fact that I'm pushing forward Four. while I add power yeah. that's speeding me up. Okay? Yeah. So it's always a balance. I see him. Good, you see him? Good. We have two different types of energy. What are the two different types of energy? The momentum and the... No. Fuel. Potential and... Kinetic. Kinetic, okay. What is fuel? But what type of energy is fuel? It's kinetic. No. Right? It's potential? Yeah. Fuel's just sitting in the point. It's not doing anything oh. until it's burnt, yep. right? Yeah. That's potential energy. What other source of potential energy do we have right now? Height above ground? Right, our altitude. Yeah. Right? Now, what kinetic energy do we have right now? Uh, the speed of the aircraft. Right, right. how fast we're moving through yeah. the air, right? Yeah. And possibly how much we're climbing or descending. Okay, but our movement. So, when we take our potential energy, whether it's our altitude or more specifically our fuel, fuel, okay? When we have our potential energy as fuel, how do we control how much fuel goes into the plane? Throttle. Throttle, right? So I can take energy out of the plane and I can put energy back into the plane, okay? When I'm doing that, I need to decide and make the decision do I want that energy to be put towards airspeed, or do I want that energy to be put towards altitude? If I want it to be put towards altitude, then as I push this in, I need to maintain, if not maintain or take away, right? I can transfer kinetic energy from here to here, right? But at the very least, I need to maintain airspeed while I have this in, so that the energy, I'm, the new energy I'm introducing is now being turned into altitude, which is also kinetic energy, right? Or sorry, which is also potential energy, okay? Now, if I want my energy that I'm putting in with the power, if I want it to be converted into airspeed, I need to make sure that stays the same. So I'm going to keep it the same at 3,800. And as I add power now, I'm making that energy transfer into airspeed. Okay. And so it's always a balance and it's always a, some, a decision you need to make. How do I want this energy to be used? Now I have potential energy in altitude and I have potential energy also in airspeed. Because even if I keep the power the same, I'm not using any more or less fuel right now. The fuel that I'm using is staying the same. But the potential energy I have in 84 knots, I can turn into kinetic energy going up by pitching up, right? Now I'm taking energy from my airspeed and putting it over here. Now it's not a lot, 
<laughs> and it goes away so. pretty quickly. Yeah. But I've got a lot more kinetic energy over here, or sorry, potential energy, which I can put over here by just putting the nose, nose down. down. Right? Yeah. So now look at all that energy I'm getting. I'm taking a bunch out of, well, I'm taking a relatively small amount out of here, a relatively small amount, and getting a relatively a large bit. amount over here. Yeah. But it's all a balance between the two. So when I tell you to maintain an altitude and just speed us up or slow us down, you know that the kinetic energy and the potential energy here, we want to keep consistent. It's off limits. We can't access it. It needs to stay the same. That means the only way we can adjust the kinetic or potential energy here is through throttle and through then the pitch to, to maintain, right? Yeah. You need to internalize that concept because it, it, it applies to everything we do in an airplane, every single thing. It's always a transfer of energy. It's always a balance. Whether you are just cruising along, whether you're taking off, whether you're going into land, whether you're recovering from a stall, whether you're doing a steep turn, it doesn't matter. Everything we do is a transfer and balance of energy.